Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my very always this clean apartment. Always looking very <laughs> perfect. <laughs> What is happening guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my New York apartment tour. First off, I just wanna clarify that we are not actually in Manhattan, we are in Brooklyn, but close enough, we're like 15 minutes away. Second of all, this is Quinn. We live together, I like her a lot, so <laughs> be nice to her, but she will be co-presenting our $2,000 New York apartment. So, you wanna take us through the place? So, if you stand right here, where Dean was standing, you can see every part of our entire apartment in one place. So we got bathroom over there, bedroom over there, living room over here, kitchen over there, welcome area over there. Let's start at the welcome area. So. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, as I take three steps away. Coat rack that my uncle made using old found things. Uh, our post box, this is where we keep umbrellas and like reusable bags for when we go grocery shopping. These are all of our outdoor things. So yoga mat, penny boards, a chair for the park. And then here we have the shit show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like the junk drawer, except it's not in a drawer. Yeah, it's a shelf unit. <laughs> so plants and incense and coins, because we always have extra change and I hate carrying change. So cameras, uh, glasses, wallets, watches, junk bowl, uh, all of my art stuff and some of Dean's, but mostly mine because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> Wait, you're missing our oh. magnificent archway. Yes, this is a pathos plant. Also, just want to point out when we got this plant, it was probably only up to about here. And we've had it for what, like two months now? Yeah, probably. Probably like two months and it went down all the way to the floor and we were like, okay, we, we can't let it grow on the floor. So we decided to hook it across and create this cool little archway as you come into the apartment. So it's looking good. You'll soon learn that we have a billion plants in our apartment. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, my degree, because I'm cool and smart and educated, not very cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these are our, so we painted the apartment recently and we used Claire, and these are the sticker swatches that we use to like pick out all the colors. We ended up going with these three, but you'll see that. Swapping co-presenters. Moving on. So we have our two trash cans. We have a big one and a small one. We started with just the big one for our trash, but then we started recycling as well and we just had these boxes next to the bin. So that didn't really work. So we decided to get another one. And at first we had the trash in the big one, but we soon realized that we accumulated way more recycling. So we made the bigger one for recycling. You know, just doing a good job for the earth. Uh, Recycling is important, the earth is important, so make sure you are recycling. We have like very little waste as well, just before we move on to the rest of the apartment. We also keep compost in the freezer, so that's like all of our food waste as well, so that we really don't have that much waste at all. And then we take that to the farmer's market on the weekend, recycle, well not recycle, kind of recycle all of the food waste. A little baby trash can for all of our it's actual baby. waste. So that's good. We have this plant, who's called Waffle, he looks like waffle fries, but he's not doing too great. He's been dying over the past week, unfortunately. Which is so weird, because all of our other plants are doing so well. So, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to do something about him. Hang on, got my guitar over here. We have this little plant. This is called Princess, because we started off with the big monster plant called Queen, and she was having some babies, so we took it off, and now the little babies are growing. So cool. Grandchildren! Yeah. We have our Amazon Alexa in the back because Alexa is Shh. cool. Never mind. Never mind. Moving on. So we have our TV unit slash desk thingy. Um, Quinn and I built this all ourselves because we didn't have money to go out and buy stuff when we are moving into our apartment. Um, so we got some help from her dad and used his workshop and stuff, so that was very helpful. Um, and then all of the stuff that you see in it as well was perfect, well, it was made perfectly for everything you see in it. So we got the record player, the speakers, the records, the stereo system, the PlayStation 4, some books, notebooks, all the things. Obviously you've got the TV on top. Then this is where the magic happens. This is my little work area. So I got my laptop over here, the MacBook Pro, got my notebook, all of my gear is in these drawers. For the most part, there's like some everywhere. <laughs> Got this iMac over here, which I don't really use for editing that much because it is an older model, so my laptop's quicker. Um, got this really cool light coming over the desk like that. We have a print up here that we got at Adorama. It was only like $8, I think, so it was really cheap and the frame just from Ikea. And it's a nice print of Table Mountain, just reminding me of home while I'm in the big city so far away. But now moving on to the important section, the plants. Do you want to... I'm going to let Quinn take over for the plants. <laughs> 
Kay. Ready? Yeah. Queen. This is the first plant we ever bought together. This is the mom of two other plants. So you saw Princess before, and then we have Prince, which is right here. And it's another one. And look, he has a new baby leaf coming in. Woo! We have our lavender plant, which is just lavender. I don't think we named it. And then we have, this is Little Boy. Then we have our snake plant right here. And we have our vine, like our ivy plant. This is Big Boy. Actually, I think this is this the first, was the first plant, plant yeah. we bought together. And we actually got him from Ikea for $20. He is just he's thriving. killing it. Then this is Philt, Philodendron, also original. And he's <laughs> great, love him. He's been growing like crazy. And he's a good one. I feel like this is more of a plant tour than a pot tour right, right now. I know, it's very important con considering like our entire apartment's covered in plants. Here's our dead cilantro. Oh yeah, that one's not doing too yeah. well. There's our basil. Here's monkey, who's this like awesome hanging plant. And we have a cactus, another cactus, and more cactuses. Cacti, cacti. Then there's a fern named the Grinch because he reminds me of the Grinch, but he's kind of dying. And then there's this one, which my grandmother got us. And she just said it reminded her of my hair. This is a brand new air conditioner. I think we bought for $300 from PC Richard. Um, it gets very hot in here because we're west facing, so we get all the afternoon sunlight. So it like makes the apartment toasty, which is great when it's cold, but in the summer it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this baby and it does actually pretty well so far, mm -hmm. but we try to use it very little. One, for environmental impact reasons, and two, because of uh, money. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. This is our futon <laughs> couch. It was actually in my house, like my childhood home, and my dad didn't use it anymore. And he was like, take it. So it's not the ideal couch, but it's actually great for when we have friends stay over, which has happened like three times already. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's actually kind of crazy. Also, I just want to point out that the walls are super empty right now. I was meant to finish my drawing for this apartment tour video. I'm busy doing a drawing of a lion skull, but uh, just haven't really had the time and haven't got around to finishing it, but that's got to go somewhere. And then we also just want to get some more things like a cool world map or oh, that just fall over. <laughs> yeah. We want to get a cool world map, maybe some paintings, do our own paintings, more drawings, just like fill out the walls because it's still pretty empty, but. I think we're going to put a world map on this wall. This is, we haven't put anything on this wall specifically because we just painted it. This is the penthouse color by Claire, which I showed you this swatch earlier, but it's like a really subtle gray, which is what we wanted in here. <sighs> this table was the biggest pain in the butt ever. So originally we had we measured the apartment before we moved in so we could make everything according to like the size. We didn't measure from here to the kitchen wall. So originally we had a table that was just like this long and this wide. And we were like, well shit, we have so much space. Like let's make a bigger table. So this is a piece of butcher block from Lowe's that we sanded down and then put a coating over so like we can wipe it off easily. And then the legs are from Ikea. And I think they were like $4 each or something. Mm -hmm. So the table was like $115, but it's butcher box so you can cut right on it. You can wipe it off and it looks really pretty because we are big fans of natural wood and plants clearly because we like nature. So it's a pretty little table. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the kitchen. We have a lot of random things in the fridge. I feel like that just makes it a lot more homey than having a fridge without anything on it. Um, just super random magnets. We got some bottle openers, Keith Herring, that's right, right? Yeah. yeah. Keith Herring magnets, a pen. Yeah, random fridge, normal fridge. We got food in the fridge. Uh, moving on, we clearly need to finish doing up our dishes. Um, just didn't really have the time before we film, but we also have this wonderful device, which is a dishwasher. Woohoo! which many New York apartments don't have. So we are very grateful for that. That yeah. when we don't feel like doing dishes, we can just load it in there and press the button and it's good to go. Got a sink. We have quite a lot of kitchen storage actually. Yeah. That's one thing we don't have in this apartment because it is so tiny is we don't have a lot of storage for things. So we've stored a lot of our things up there as well. Got a toolbox up there, just some more dishes and things. We have a microwave here, stove, oven, utensils, electric kettle, Toaster. We also have a washer and dryer. This is the also best. one of the best things because many New York apartments don't have this and you need to go to a laundry mat. Luckily, we can just load it up, push another button and watch a movie. We don't have to sit in a laundry mat. So that's cool. What else is there? Talk about line drying. We got awesome. all our snacks in there. Uh, yes, we also have a washing line. So that's one of the only issues with the washer and dryer is it takes four hours to dry our clothes 
and then when they eventually do dry it's all crinkled so what we've decided to do is rather do line drying so that it doesn't crinkle as much and also we don't use as much electricity so we put these little hooks up on that side and all the way on that side so that we just have a washing line in the cupboard and then string it across and we can hang our laundry here. Environmental impact. Yeah, just better for the environment and better for our clothes. Follow me this way to the bathroom. We have, it's a very tiny bathroom. The wide angle lens is probably making it look a lot bigger than it is, but it's great for the two of us. Like we don't really need much more space. So it'd be nice, but uh, it's New York. So you pay for that space. So we've got our units over here with the mirror, all our bathroom things in there. Careful. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Sink over here, there's some storage under here. We have a little trash can over there, hand towel. We got some eucalyptus just because it looks cool. Got this collage that Quinn did, so that's also great. Also, if you want to show them here, these are some more of Quinn's collages. Check it out on Instagram, Q Collages. She's a very talented artist. Um, but yeah, that's that. So we got one of those over here. We have our little alo aloe plants, that mm -hmm. right. Got the toilet here. <laughs> and then we have our if you come around this way, we have our shower around here. Got some hooks. Look how cool these hooks are. It's a little butt. It's a little dog butts, so that's cool. The last thing about the bathroom is this color is so amazing. At first, everything was so white in this apartment. All the walls were white, so it was just very sterile in a way. Um, but luckily, we managed to work with clear paints. Got this really cool, nice blue color called Summer Friday. Really makes you feel like it is summer in here and always a Friday. So you're just having a great time in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. This is where the magic happens. I can't do that. I can't say that. I don't know why I can say that. <laughs> this is our bedroom. Um, at first when we moved in, everything was like really white, but recently we've started to put things on the wall so it feels more like home. Although we don't really do many things in here other than sleep and change. So it's not that important, but when it was all white, it felt really sterile, so we needed to add like life to it. And we started by doing plants in here. So this is king. So we have king, queen, prince, and princess, all monsteros because that's our favorite plant. Then this is Dean's uh, scratch off map. So those are the places that he's been. This is a little leaf from a hike that we did in Yonkersuk, so that was good. Then this is our terrible dresser, but it does the trick, so whatever. Do you want to talk about storage? Yeah, so we have like absolutely no storage other than the the kitchen shelves and cabinets, that's the word. So a lot of our stuff is kind of like shoved away clothing wise. So like we have a small closet, which I'll show you, but we use this Ikea unit and we just basically split it in half. So Dean has like, actually I'm pretty sure I have more than you do in this. Yeah, so this is Dean <laughs> and this is Dean and then the rest is me pretty much. So yeah, I mean, this is where we keep most of our foldable clothes because we don't have like space for it um, and then I have my jewelry box that my uncle made for me some plants and like cute little things um, but this is our or my little collage wall then this is the bed ignore the fact that this one doesn't have a pillowcase on it because laundry can I do this our tomato plants are right there they're very cute and they're growing and we really jankily tied one to the Swiffer because we don't have steaks yet and we have to buy them. So those are our tomato plants because we like fresh food. We have a queen size bed. Actually, one of the biggest things that we did was, so if you can see, so it was like handmade. So all of these open up and we have more clothes in here. And then we have books and stuff under there and then shoes and other stuff. And then I don't think I can do this because I'm not strong enough, but under the bed, you can lift this up and then we have under the bed storage. So we have what? Suitcases, winter stuff. And random things. Random crap, I don't know. So it, this really actually maximized our space, which is fantastic since we don't have closet space, which you will see now. This is the sad little tiny closet that Dean and I share. All of our clothes that need to be hung. So like all my dresses and shirts and Dean shirts. And then this little thing is supposed to be a shoe rack, but instead we got these boxes from Ikea they're like little square boxes and underwear, bras, socks, ties, and then command hooks for belts and hats. And that's about that. It sucks, but we, I think, made the best of it. I would seriously love more closet space, but I would rather sacrifice closet space for a dishwasher and a washer and dryer. And then our favorite wall in this entire apartment, probably. 
is our Polaroid wall. This is the first picture that Dean and I ever took together. It's very embarrassing because we both are so awkward and didn't know what to do. But that's the first picture. Do you want to speak about our other amazing pictures? Ah, uh, yes. These are the best pictures Dean has ever taken. For sure, 100%. No, just kidding. We bought frames from Ikea and really want to buy prints for them, but we just haven't gotten around to it. I wanted to do three black and white prints just because I think it would look really nice on this wall because the color is like more important than the picture frame to me. And the color is Dirty Martini, also by Claire. To reiterate, we have Dirty Martini, Penthouse, and Summer Fridays. And I thought that was so funny because I was like, it's three of my favorite things, all in paint colors. So uh, yeah, that is our apartment. Like I said in the beginning, this is a $2,000 Brooklyn, New York apartment. We both pay a thousand each. So really not bad for the amenities. amenities that we have, the location that we have. We're like 20 minutes away from Manhattan by subway. We have the park right next to us. Yeah, Prospect for, Park is amazing. For clarification, we live in Prospect Lefferts, Prospect Heights and Crown Heights. We're like in the middle of all three areas. Uh, we have a great location, three, mm. four minute walk from subway stations right near the park, which we go to like five times a week yeah. at least. Good By the way, for those of you wondering, we found this place on Street Easy. That was definitely the best place for us. Um, we also are looking on Craigslist and where else is it? Um, there's a Facebook group that oh, right, uh, New Yorkers use sometimes. It's private, so you have to get invited to it, but it's called Gypsy Housing. Mm -hmm. um, often people post like things looking for roommates or asking for roommates or doing lease takeovers or whatever. Um, so I looked on that quite a bit for us. I didn't find anything that wasn't with other people and we really wanted to live alone because I've lived with roommates in New York my entire New York residential life. Um, and we really wanted to like make a home and paint the walls and I don't know, just make it ours. So we got to do that. And thanks to Street Easy for doing that. This is not sponsored. Street Easy does not sponsor this. I'm just letting you know because honestly you can filter things pretty well with like no broker's mm -hmm. fees, which is really important because for this apartment we paid first month rent and then security deposit, which is the same as one month rent. So we put down, what is that, $4,000 roughly, mm -hmm. plus a couple like little fee things. So that covered first month of rent and then the security you get back once you move out, hopefully if you didn't fuck up the apartment. Also, I wanna throw it out there, you're not like 100% always allowed to paint apartments. The general rule of thumb is you can paint the apartment so long as you paint it white before you move out but Dean and I really wanted to paint the wall. I really wanted to paint the walls because it was too sterile and white in here. So shout out to Claire for that. They make great paints and the colors are so homey and lovely. So this is our apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Quinn. Go check out on Instagram. I'll leave the links down in the description. Um, thanks for being an amazing co-host on MCV Cribs. It's been good. Um, shout out to Claire Paint once again as well for giving us this amazing free paint. Um, definitely go check them out. The links will be down to that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions as well, just let me know down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're in New York, let me know. We can hang out and do things. In the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.